What's good guys, Alex is Hypno Tech. How you doing? We have the Samsung Chromebook Plus here and today we are showing off some apps, uh, especially drawing apps because a lot of you guys have been asking me to download some drawing apps to show off and uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to see how the apps work. Uh, oh, I, I know how the apps work. I've been using it for about a week now. As you can see, I pull up the stylus and of course the stylus tools um, menu pops out. Uh, as we saw in the unboxing video. Also, thank you guys for um, gently telling me that the uh, things that I didn't know last time, the little tips that I found in the uh, unboxing video were actually replacement stylus tips. Um, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. The last Note device I had was the Note 2 and that was not there. So uh, now I know, now I know. Thank you guys for telling me that. So uh, I downloaded some apps for drawing and a lot of you have recommended me Artflow, so I'm gonna turn on Artflow right now. And yeah, yeah, I guess I'll just like write some Chinese words. So as you can see there, it seems to work pretty well. It has a slight detection lag from when the pen actually touches the uh, screen, but it's not that bad, it's not that bad. I've used styluses and uh, devices that were much slower in recognition. So this is actually pretty, pretty good. Sorry about the rain in the background, by the way. My uh, office is flooding right now. It's, it's pretty bad, but I wanted to do this video. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's pretty good. But the problem is, the, the palm rejection on this is not the greatest. Like, at times, you can even... Um, you can even turn on other apps or accidentally like change the settings because your palm, the palm rejection is not the greatest here. Um, I've noticed that too, as you can see, there's like little dots here from my, uh, my forearm and my palm uh, when I rest on it. Uh, best way to do it is to hover over. Uh, I, I, that's not ideal, but I can't really compare this to too many other devices because I don't, like I said, I don't really use styluses. Um, I know there's a there's a feel for it, there's a market for it, uh, but I really haven't. The last one I've used that had built-in stylus support, native stylus support, was the XPS 12. And I actually think the XPS 12 is better in terms of this particular uh, function. Um, Let's open another app. Let's do, let's do Bamboo Paper. Let, uh, take a look at this. So Bamboo Paper is a popular app on um, the iOS store and also now on the um, Android store. But as you can see, we crashed. We're going to crash. There we go, we crashed. So this app is interesting because you have to open it in portrait mode. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is. It's a ghost. I'm gonna say it's a ghost. A strong ghost. Or no, this is a this is a bat. I don't know. Okay, see, this, this is why I don't draw. I'm horrible at this. But <laughs> but uh, once again, yeah, certain apps just don't work like that. You have to make it work. The other app that uh, some of you guys have asked me to do is this one. It's called Sketch. So this one seems to work fine as well. You can actually switch over to portrait mode on this one and uh, landscape. And yeah, it seems to work. It seems to work pretty well. I actually drew something the other day uh, using this. So um, there we go. This is a little. I was gonna draw Doug from um, Nickelodeon, but somehow I don't know. It just somehow ended like this. <laughs> Some weird monster with a beard. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. This experience is pretty good. But once again, if you are a serious artist, a graphic designer who relies on a tablet device um, for a living, obviously this is not what you're looking for, uh, unfortunately. Some of you have messaged me asking me if this could potentially be that device. Uh, I can't honestly recommend this as your go-to main device. I really do think this is a good secondary device for maybe like some doodling when you're in a plane, but in terms of making a career and using this particular uh, function as the main function, 
I don't think it's the best. I, I think if you're looking for something cheap, maybe like the Cube i7 stylus, I've seen videos on that and it seems like uh, the Wacom support on that is better for professionals than uh, what I'm seeing here. Or even the XPS 12. I think the XPS 12, I, while I didn't really like that particular um, laptop 2-in-1, that particular function, the stylus support and the writing and drawing was actually, I, I in my opinion, better. Um, also, so one of the bloatware apps that was pre-installed on this is Art Canvas by Samsung. And as you can see, it doesn't open. So their default art app on this device does not open for me. Art Canvas does not open. It just keeps forever boot looping. So I haven't gotten it to open. Um, I've run into some other problems on Android on this Chromebook. And uh, they somehow got resolved. This one has consistently been the thorn on my side and refused to open. So I just have to close out of it. As you can see, it's not opening. So I still have not gotten that to open. The other thing I had an issue with early on when I first uh, started using this was these Google cards. So the Google Now cards have been here for a while uh, on Chromebooks. It's been uh, installed onto your uh, Chromebooks for uh, yeah a while now. Uh, one of the updates a while ago. I could not get this to work. I turned on all the settings, normally how I use on all the other Chromebooks. For some reason, the Now cards did not want to work for me. Uh, all of a sudden, it just started working today. There was an update uh, that I did last night, so maybe that fixed the problem. So another thing that I noticed in the unboxing video that uh, I, I touched briefly on, that some of you guys have asked me to reiterate, uh, when I was holding it in tablet mode, I would accidentally press the trackpad and it would open some apps or because the trap pack was active, it wouldn't lock. Well, there was no settings to change that. And I think that was a bug because I just restarted the device right after, after the video. Uh, I restarted twice and then it went away. Like right now I'm clicking the trackpad and it's nothing's happening. None of, no, nothing actually worked. All the, um, all the keys are locked, which is how I think it's supposed to be. So I think that was a bug as well. All right, we're gonna take a look at some of the entertainment apps. So I, I did, I downloaded Reddit as fun. I don't really like the actual official Reddit app. I've been using Reddit as fun for the longest period of time now. And um, it works. It works just like it would on a tablet, like it did on my Tab S2 on the Pixel C. Uh, also, while I'm on the Pixel C, I'm gonna be doing a comparison video between this and the Pixel C because uh, the Pixel C, I always wanted it to be something like this. Um, so I think it will be a good video uh, for a comparison. So if you guys are interested in that, give me a thumbs up um, and leave a comment to see um, what you guys would like to uh, see me compare. But yeah, as you can see, it works fine. It's pretty smooth, easy browsing experience. It actually flips from landscape to portrait mode, no problem. It's actually a, pl a pleasant experience here. Um, let's see, let's see what else I got here. We're gonna do another basic one like uh, Netflix. I'm gonna pop Netflix open. But yeah, Netflix works perfectly fine. I, I don't have any problems with um, I don't have any problems with Netflix right now. Let's let's see. Let's play Finding Dory. Yeah, but yeah, Netflix runs perfectly fine. You don't have to rely on the web player anymore, too. You can just do this. There we go. See? Finding Dory is working fine. Netflix is streaming. No problem. Uh, let's exit out of that. Let's also exit out of this. Let's pop open. I also have Spotify. Let's pop up Spotify. This is the app, not the web app. Before, on Chrome OS, we would have to rely on the web app. And the web app of Spotify was okay, a little serviceable, but it's actually much better to actually have the um, Android app version of it. Let's play today's top hits. I don't know, let's just play this one. There we go. It's it's playing no problem. It plays in the background too, I believe. See, it has background play. It has, it's basically a full tablet experience. Uh, I haven't had any issues with that uh, in my week's testing of this. But once again, if I run any issues in the full review, I will actually talk about it. I also have Messenger, Facebook Messenger, which everybody use uses. Well, as you can see there, there <laughs> that that was kind of like a little buggy there because 
Android support still is, it still has a ways to go, but at least it's, it works, it's, it's serviceable. Yeah, so overall, in terms of the Android apps, after a weekend, I'm actually pretty good with it. I'm pretty happy with the experience, with the performance. Uh, once again, there's some hiccups here and there, but uh, it's manageable. It's surprisingly manageable, and it's not that bad. So once again, my name is Alex from Tech. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with more videos, not only on the Samsung Chromebook Plus, but of course, I have Axon 7 Mini. Uh, my review of that is going to be out, I think, next week. And uh, we got a bunch of other stuff coming up. So I'll see you guys very soon. Peace. If you liked the video, be sure to comment, subscribe, and like. If you didn't like the video, well, you should still subscribe because I'm 100% sure that you're gonna like the content that we produce in the future. Until next time, bye.